In this week's video, I'll show you a couple of quick VCDS tweaks that'll make your GTI faster on the track and more fun to drive. Let's get it. Now last video, I went through some of the more convenienced or look and feel based tweaks for your GTI. Today, I'm talking about performance tweaks. Tweaks you need for the track or for canyon driving. So tweak number five, XDS settings. Now, XDS is your fake differential, I guess. What it does is it breaks the outer two wheels to help with turn in a little bit, to help the car rotate. This is adjustable via ODB 11 and really easy to change. My personal recommendation is to set it to weak. A lot of it comes down to personal preference and how you want the car to feel. But remember, it is actually applying the brakes and applying the brakes slows you down. Now speaking of brakes, tweak number four is all about brakes. This is brake stabilization and brake over assistance you want to get rid of these. They're options that you can actually turn off. So brake stabilization is the car wanting to wanting you to always brake in a straight line. Now, if you've run semi-slicks on the track, which run at quite a low PSI, under heavy braking, the car can squirm a little bit anyway. You don't want the car coming in and trying to correct that. Turn that one off. Same with the over assistance. This is where you don't really have a linear pedal feel by default. This makes the pedal more linear. So the more you push the pedal, the more the brake is applied. Number three is the torque limiter. An oldie but a goodie. This one's been around for a while. Now you shouldn't really need this one on the track if you're driving smoothly, but it is definitely related to performance driving. So what this torque limitation does is if you spin the wheels in first and second gear, the car actually reduces the power. You'll see it on the dash. The ECS light will actually light up, even if you have ECS all the way off, which I'm going to talk about in a sec. So this is removable. It does mean, though, that your car will axle tramp pretty severely if you haven't done any work to the factory engine mounts or dog bone. Number two is ECS off. For track driving, this is a must. You really don't want to be trail braking into a corner, the back stepping out just a little bit, and then the car coming in all of a sudden and trying to correct. You've just ruined your lap completely. So you really want the option of turning this off. Luckily on my club sport, I have this from factory, whereas one press puts ECS into sport mode, holding it down, turns it all the way off. Really easy to do though. So number one, and this really is my favorite. This is the increased traction mod. Now this is actually applicable to a Golf R or to a GTI with the performance pack or a club sport. What this actually does, I suspect, is it increases the pressure that's applied to the VOQ system. So the Haldex. So on an R, obviously it's increasing that between the front and rear wheels, and on the performance pack diff, it's doing it between the left and right, because that's what it actually uses as the differential. It uses this VAQ diff. So what you can do is you can turn this up to what they call increased traction. That's actually what the setting's called, and it's like turning your LSD up a notch. It really is brilliant you can really feel the differential fighting to pull you into the corner more aggressively than on the stock setting. Really a must for track driving or canyon driving or just spirited driving. This is definitely my favorite tweak on this whole car. So those are my top five tweaks for performance and track driving for your GTI or R. I really recommend all of them. As always, please like, and subscribe. I've got more great content coming. Until next time, have fun in your car 
and keep it on the black stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh.